G'day, it's Doki Darko from DokiDarko.com. Hey, hit subscribe, because today we are going to be taking a look at this. The Epos Sennheiser GSP670 Wireless Gaming Headset. Yeah, I'm excited too. Let's take a look. Wireless audio is so important for gaming. There's lots of reasons why, but the main one is that cords just get in the way when you are lost in a frenzy of mouse clicks and keyboard mashing playing your favourite multiplayer game. That's what makes it so important that one of the leaders in gaming focus headsets has set a new benchmark by releasing the GSP670, an immersive experience in audio excellence. The GSP670 by Epos Sennheiser is the flagship headset and the expansive locker that this mighty partnership has designed. A step up in overall look and feel with the extra added bonus of being wireless as well. It takes advantage of a USB dongle to plug into your PC or your PS4 to deliver the best possible sound in either stereo or 7.1 surround sound. If for some reason you don't use the dongle, you can also use the inbuilt Bluetooth connection which is a wonderful wonderful example of thoughtful engineering to include both. The headphones sit comfortably across the top of your head and around your ears, using combinations of soft memory foam padding on the ears and a more delicate mesh across the top. It's all attached to a very futuristic design. After all, these are predominantly designed with eSports in mind. That future military look suits the audience and I've got to say, it appeals to me. My first impression of looking at the headphones is that I thought, mm, yeah, these might be a bit too bulky to wear. But once you have them on, the lightweight but strong plastics used in the design do away with those preconceptions, especially with the help of the sliders. There are twin sliders inside the headband that turns out to be a really great feature. As they allow you to adjust the headset fit and distribute the weight, there's a true understanding here that everyone has a different shape head. So much like adjusting a seat before you get on the exercise bike, you need to tweak the slides to get the most comfortable placement for you. After all, these are built for gaming. You're gonna be wearing them for long periods of time. Each ear cup design is more ear shaped than pure oval, capturing the sound and fit really nicely. The two large rings on either side also serve a purpose. The left hand side houses the movable arm for the powerful microphone and the right hand side is a smooth power switch and volume control that feels the same as turning a large dial on a high end stereo system amplifier. There's no stumbling in the dark to find tiny buttons here. A simple turn will give you complete control instantly. The other buttons and ports on the device include the LED to display the status of the headphones and a slider to allow pairing mode for a Bluetooth connection. There's a secondary volume wheel just behind your right ear that controls chat volume and a smart button that's programmable. So you can use it to go through multiple equalizer settings based on the type of game you're playing or if you're using them to watch a movie or, or listen to music, both of which have that distinct Sennheiser sound quality that is incredible. I highly recommend using Gaming Suite software so you can adjust to your own preferences. You'll learn so much more about the sound of your headset in it. Swapping between stereo and 7.1 surround is really easy with the program and adding reverb is a really nice effect but use it sparingly. The USB port for charging is a micro USB. Now this can be used to directly connect to your PC or PlayStation so you can continue to play while charging and is of a pretty decent length as well. I would have much rather seen a USB-C connection here though. In fact, I'm hoping that soon every port just switches to USB-C and we get some form of standard in the industry. There's also notably no audio jack on the headset, which also felt like a strange omission for headphones, but not one that I've really found an issue with. It makes a lot of sense that if modern phones and laptops are losing that port, it's not super necessary on your headphones anymore. Okay, so the microphone's pretty powerful and I'd read broadcast quality, but working in broadcast media, I could probably say I wouldn't use this headset to go to air. There's probably a bit too much compression going on, but even with some additional filters and effects in the software, like changing it to be warm and clear, I would probably say it's more eSports broadcast quality. So you're going to be the best sounding person in your team. A strong feature on the microphone is that when you click the arm to the upright position, it will mute the microphone. Likewise, when you move it down to the click position at your mouth, it reactivates it. It's a simple but really effective feature that was appreciated. 
Playing a variety of games felt at times like I was playing them for the first time. Audio plays such a big role in the atmosphere and the storytelling and being able to hear gunshots and bullets fly past in a game like Borderlands 3 or even the powerful engines and crumble of gravel under your car in a game like Forza Horizon 4. It really brought out the best in the titles. I think the best moment I had though was when I played Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That crisp sound of a lightsaber firing up and closing down was was magic every time. Lightsaber on, lightsaber off. Lightsaber on, lightsaber off. I'll admit it, I did it for far too long. The detail of the sound is just superb. The headset battery delivers on the 20 plus hours of use when you're using the dongle. It's around 16 hours on low latency wireless and uses fast charge so you can play while you charge and get back to being wireless very quickly. The EPOS Sennheiser GSP670 is exactly what it claims to be, an immersive experience in excellent wireless audio for gaming. The fact that it works for both your PC or your PS4 is also a massive bonus. Using either Bluetooth or a dongle gives you options and the overall quality you notice as soon as you pick them up and place them on your head. These are the flagship for the brand and come in at a flagship price as well with a recommended retail of $469 in Australia, but they're worth every cent. Hey, thanks so much for watching the review for these gaming headphones. If you want more reviews like this, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, head to DockyDarko.com and, of course, listen to the Random 30 across uh, multiple radio networks, including Grant Broadcasters and Ace Radio. Uh, we do gaming review segments every Tuesday and Friday and tech reviews every Wednesday night. You can listen at around 7, 10 p.m. and uh, 9, 10 p.m. to get the... Uh, the reviews, uh, but that's across your radio network across Australia. So thanks very much. <laughs>